Hello. Oh, hey. You alright? Afternoon guys, thanks for tuning in. Uh, today's going to be a commentary one. Um, we are just heading down Gate and Close off Ravenswood Avenue. My neck of the woods. And we're about to uh, get ourselves into the uh, bottom end of the wood. How are you man? You alright? Um, and then we are going to uh, head into Blundell's Wood. And once we get on the path, uh, you can let me know whether you want me to go left, right or straight on. thought that might be fun. I've uh, been a little bit busy this morning doing some uh, filming for a little video that the Cricket Club at Highfield has asked me, asked me to do on the history, which will be quite interesting to watch. Quite interesting to make, actually. find out lots of bits and pieces this morning speaking to some of the old uh, cricketers there who are doing some maintenance on the ground this morning so once we head into the woods this is your walk in the comments just let me know which way you'd like me to go just don't get me lost Just say a quick hello to a few people. We've got uh, Daniel Brown, Elaine Monks is watching, regular, James Hornby, all right. Uh, Patricia Pete is watching. How are you doing, Pat? Okay, so don't forget in the comments. Let me know which way. We've got a left or right option down at the bottom of the path. Which way should we go? How are we doing, Simon? So we've just entered Blundell's Woods and we can go left or we can go right. You can actually go a little bit straight on as well. So you decide on this one, it's your walk. Which way should we go? Left, James Hornby says. Cheers, James. Thanks for jumping in there and saving the day. So I'm sorry I'm a little bit later than quarter past three is planned, but got chatting to one of my neighbours who said we're famous on uh, YouTube. The amount of views we're getting apparently is really good, I'll be honest I've not looked, but the YouTube channel seems to be on fire. Um, yesterday I put a little announcement out that we've put a little website together which will consolidate all the walks and pur up the map with the video as a nice little resource for those who want to use it as a resource. How are we doing Alison? How are we doing, Stephen? Emma Davis says, hello! So if you have just joined us, we're in Blundell's Wood right now. Ravenswood Avenue, houses, the back end are on my left. Smithy Brook is down there on the right. And we are doing a First time ever, um, decide where I'm going. You decide, you've, you've got the power on this one. So you can take me wherever you want, wherever you want to see. 
Now in a second we've got a left, right or straight on option. Now's the time to decide. Victoria K says right. Going down the steps, Vic. The first comment we see is the first uh, first one that we do. So when I do give you the option, just type in left, right, or straight on. One thing that I didn't realise about this is you could essentially make me walk in circles, which is quite funny. <laughs> Okay, we've got a straight on or right option. Where should we go? Straight on or right? Right's a good option, that'll take us down. Victoria says right. Okay, you've got to get your decisions in quickly, people, as we're walking. Uh, just take you quickly here. Um, I think James put these pictures on the other day. Oh, what's in there? Something's just rustled. Can you hear that? There's something in the bush. I don't know what it is. Anyway, I was saying, uh, James put these pictures on the other day. And these are the foundations to the greenhouse um, that was like a white outbuilding with glass all over. Being a greenhouse, that's what you'd expect. Um, but these are the foundations and the house um, used to be at the top of the hill there, roughly, from what I can remember. So make sure you're watching live, guys, uh, to make these decisions, left, right or straight on. I'll give you the option. First person to respond tells me where to go. I think there's some steps here. This. I'm guessing some old ruins from the uh, the wall and some steps by the looks of it up to the building where the house used to be. Matthew Molyneux says up that tree. I ain't climbing anywhere pal. I don't think it was a rat, I think it was some kind of bird. It was on the ground somewhere. So we're down at Smithy Brook now. A little bit fuller than it has been, due to the rain I guess. And there's a robin straight ahead, I don't know if you saw that. Rebecca Banks used to love walking down there as a kid. Not been for years. Well, you must get out. Have a look around. Uh, Frank says, good afternoon. Good afternoon, mate. James says those steps led to the house. Thanks for clearing that up, James. Birds are singing today. In a lot better weather than it has been over the past few days. It's still a bit nippy though. Okay, we can go right or we can go left. Right takes us across that pipe 
where I might fall in or left it takes us further into the woods and in fact there's two lefts Sorry Victoria, you're not sending me across that pipe. Um, I pr hope I'm pronouncing this right. Nahum Davis has said left. So left we must go. She beat you to it. Sorry James, beat you to it pal. Unlucky Victoria. Matthew Molyneux is very keen for me to climb up a tree. Uh, it's called Winstanley Walks, mate. Um, not Winstanley Climbs, but I appreciate your uh, your input. All the same. <laughs> Now James, if you are watching, can you uh, enlighten us as to what this is? I'm guessing it's some kind of uh, probe into one of the mines, the mine shafts. I could be wrong, it's got a padlock on it. If you're there, James, let us know what that is. Uh, so, just some comments coming through. Chris Clark. Uh, it's pronounced Neve. Okay, okay, okay. She's going mad. But happy you picked her direction. Fair enough. I apologise, Neve. I'll remember in the future. Sam and Duffy. Um, I certainly, we certain we used to cross that pipe uh, to get to the Maymill ponds in the late 70s, early 80s. Yeah, they more than likely did. Matthew says it's okay to cycle down this side. Is it okay to cycle down this side? Yes, it is. Um, there's a few uh, routes that you might want to look out for, so make sure you're wearing your helmet. Uh, Jonathan Martin has confirmed that pipe is a gas pipe. James Hornby is correct that. And a few new people watching. Hello Sheila, Louise and Sarah. Can have a quick look at the waterfall before we make our next decision. Hey, you alright? Okay guys, you've got an option now to go left up into the estate at the back of Foundry Lane. I've never been, I've been to the top but I've never carried on from there. Or we can go right further down. Left or right people, which way do you want to go? Elaine Monk says right. Let us know how you get on, Matthew. Cycling down here. Look, there's just a few uh, odds and sods you need to be aware of. Sorry, James. Uh, Elaine beat you to it. 
And Sheila says we have such beautiful woodland on our doorstep, you're absolutely right, we do. Uh, sorry Frank, you said left as well, Elaine beat you to it. You have to be fast. So I think tomorrow um, we might uh, we might hit the 100 kilometer uh, mark on the walks that we've done so far. So this is walk 23 if I'm correct in thinking. Um, so in 25 or less than 25 walks, uh, we've smashed through the 100 kilometer mark, which is pretty cool. Most of the walks are around about an hour long. Um, that's due to two reasons. One, well, there's another gas pipe here. Another one. Um, yeah, the hour long walks. Um, first reason, it was advised that an hour's worth of exercise would be um, sufficient, I suppose, three weeks ago when we started. And the other reason is data. Uh, each live stream that we do is live streaming in up to 7, 720p HD high definition quality um, and it eats up quite a lot of data around about 2 gigabytes per walk per hour um, now that quickly adds up to quite a lot of data usage uh, so an hour is typically what we're going to be doing for the foreseeable future but we might get to some longer ones you never know I've even thought about taking it up to Scotland when they open the border anyway uh, a few more comments coming through James Hornby I give up I'll just watch <laughs> you're not fast enough mate you need to get them thumbs ready um, Emma Davis my walk keeps stopping does anyone else's that might be down to um, the signal as we're in the woods it can cut off a little bit uh, as it goes low uh, but we are on full signal now so it's okay Val Charles says it's raining here now Val lives near Birmingham um, so we're quite lucky we've actually got some relatively blue skies here today Val and the sun is shining okay guys uh, would you like me to turn right go straight on or go left Elaine Monks is on there already right okay we're going across the bridge So this is the track um, that is used to access the water treatment facility. Emma Davis says quiffed. I think she means left. You having some technical difficulties today, James? Now, if the sound or the video has gone off, again, the signal can drop out in amongst the trees. So bear with should come back after a couple of seconds. Val says, prefer to hear you speak occasionally Chris, don't like it when you're quiet. 
you not like to hear the sounds of the birds singing and just the, f the patter of the feet along the path? You enjoy it when Chris has banter, apparently, Emma. Oh, welcome, Mr. Alan Pete. Now, to uh, stop me going around in circles, we're not going to do a right, we're going to go up to the top. Okay, Frank, so we've gone into Blundell's Wood. If you've lost your bearings, we've gone into Blundell's Wood. Um, and we've turned left to go to the steps, down the steps, across the bridge. We turn right, followed Smithy Brook. And then we've now come and kind of back on ourselves towards the direction where we started. So we're heading back towards uh, the back of, uh, I think it's Derham Way. It's behind those trees, eventually. But don't worry, we will be putting the map on as soon as we finish the walk. But you might get your bearings when we get to the top of this hill. How's the signal now, guys? Are you managing to uh, to watch it and listen? The signal should improve shortly. Left at the top of the lane says, thank you. Don't know why the telephone signal's so weak today, we're, all, we're only on one bar. Friendly banter. Val's enjoying it. Six weeks, lockdown, has took its toll. I'm just reading what Val says. Took its toll on communications. Nice and clear views. Now was fuzzy before. That's why I thought it's raining where you were. All oh, right, okay. Signal much better. Loud and clear. James Hornby confirms that as well. All good. Got some ducks in the pond. Look. Day for a swim, and no, guys, I've not brought my trunks, so I ain't jumping in there. Emma Davis says three laps around the pond, sort of. Uh, drop down left, the lay monk says three laps around the pond. I'm just looking at the signal, the signal's gone down to zero now. So I hope the live stream's working. If not, you'll have to catch it up on YouTube later on. Two bars. Give me that bird. Doo, doo, doo. <laughs> this is getting ridiculous now. Uh, so if you have just joined us, um, you guys who are watching are in charge of the walk in terms of where we go. What I didn't say is how we do it. So first of all, I've been told to climb a tree, um, then do three laps of a pond, which I'm guessing she meant swimming, and now Emma's telling me to roll down a hill. <sighs> I can't be trusted. OK, 
Good afternoon, Brian. Thanks for joining us. So we've dropped down left uh, from the hill and now we're bearing right. Elaine Monks is on it. She's preempting our moves. Simon Duffy says it's a chiff chaff tweeting in the trees. I'll just avoid this people. I'll go up to the top. You can walk through here, there's a little cutout if you look. I hope one day we can uh, we can walk around this properly without the fence. Because uh, it would make a lovely water park if it wasn't orange. We'll exit out of this little wooded bit here, back out onto the path. <clears throat> okay, so I know there's a left bankment down there, or we can continue to straddle the side. <clears throat> Which way do you want to go, folks? Right into the field or back down? to the left. We can go down the hill there. We'll end up on the Winstonley Colliery Railway line towards Cl Clapgate Lane that way. Which way do you want to go? Victoria says right. came down here on one of the first walks um, almost three weeks ago or is it three weeks ago? Yeah, it must have been uh, almost three weeks ago and these reed beds, they were, they were mowing them and look how much they've grown it must be almost like, I don't know 10, 11, 12 foot some of them huge give you a kind of an idea of the scale. I'll put that down there. And I'm, I'm like five foot nothing. So they're huge. I think Emma's still watching like with a delay of around about 20 seconds here. We've been here uh, two or three times I think now onto the mound and we've got left is the path that takes you either up to St Aidan's or down to Clapgate Lane and to the right is Bundles Wood and to the right again is the path we came up earlier on via the bridge
it's definitely delayed. Them reeds are huge. That was like three minutes ago. Okay, when we get to the end of the mound, do you want to go right around the water or left? Don't say, don't say straight on because it's it's just trees. Left or right, people? It's where we're going. Right into the woods and back onto the opposite side of the brook. Okay. Thanks, Elaine. Thanks, Victoria. That's a naughty man here. joined us or I don't know where we are. There's a bridge down there that we crossed and we're going to go back into bundles. Good afternoon Juliet. I don't know if Max is watching but we'll be doing his walk uh, tomorrow. Max has sent us a fresh map. Hashtag Max's map if you want to see the first one. Do a search for that. Uh, and Max has sent me a, a beast, a beast of a route. So I'm, I've been kind of bracing myself for it. Uh, but we're all good and ready to uh, hit Max's route tomorrow. I think we might do an early start tomorrow, but I'll say early earlier than the past few days. Around about nine o'clock, just after breakfast. Okay, you've, you do still have an option to stay on this side of the brook. You can go right, or you can go left, and back into the woods fully. What do you want to do? I'm guessing left because the signal's weak as, again. Now then, yeah. how are we doing, Andrew? You okay? Thank you. Fantastic. We're doing a walk today, another one, another one. <laughs> I'll see you later. Bye -bye. Okay, a couple of you said left, so we're sticking with that. Um, and Juliet has come back with a right turn, but um, we are going with the first person who responds in the comments, and that's the first one that's come up on my stream, was to go left, so I preempted that one. Um, do you want to go left back out of the woods up to Derraham Way, the way we came in, or do you want to go right and continue through Blundells? What do you want to do? Left the way we came in, or right. Bear in mind we've already been down that way. Quick fingers people. Right. Stay in the woods, okay. I'm having a deja vu here. So there used to be a uh, an awesome cycle track that we used to do when we were kids. And I say awesome because we used to start on this little mound here. And we used to start up from this position. And there used to be a path that went straight past this tree. 
straight past this tree and into the woods here. Oh, the path's still there, right? And it used to go down. It's all overgrown now. And we used to jump over the path that we walked down earlier on. And about uh, two days before we went on our family holiday, I must have been about nine or ten. Two days before, literally two days before, my mum's telling me, don't go do anything too dangerous. Don't hurt yourself in the woods. Don't fall off your bike. It's like, yeah, yeah, I'll be fine, I'll be fine, I'll be fine. So I'm racing through the woods and I get to that mound and I put all my power and effort into the downhill drop and I get to the rise, the incline towards the path and the idea is you're only jumping about a metre off the floor from the path's perspective but on the opposite side of the path there's like a three metre drop it's a slope so you can land completely lost my bearings, completely lost my balance head first straight into a tree she wasn't best pleased blood everywhere, scars all over my legs my arms Okay, when we get to the steps, we've already been right, so I'm going to exclude that one from the option. We can go left or straight on into the woods. Get typing. Options, 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 left or straight on. Left. Straight on. Straight on. Emma says, you have caught up now, haven't you, Emma? Emma? You're on it, like a rocket. The big jump was called the tabletop. Yeah, I remember that, James. I hope everyone's looking to, forward to our Jurassic Park track. Or the Dinosaur Trail, whatever we're going to call it, this weekend. If the kids are uh, keen to get out and about, it would be a good little walk for them to uh, enjoy the outdoors. Emma, it's for the kids. I know you're excited, but don't just go on your own. Take the kids with you. Now I'm going to let uh, Juliet into a little secret now that Max is going to be the first person to get the map of where to go. I want him to uh, be our test run. I'll test pilot on Saturday if you're available. What do you think? Would Max be up for that, Juliet? So this is a little bridge that uh, crosses Smithy Brook. Um, and from what I've seen in a few of the comments, it's a listed bridge means it shouldn't be removed. It should stay where it is. Just imagine how many people for, I don't know, a few hundred years maybe, have crossed that bridge. Max is jumping up and down and says it's a yes. Fantastic. Emma can't help it. I might go twice, once on my own and once with the kids. <laughs> Brilliant. I mean, don't get your hopes up. Might not be your thing. Just found something under the undergrowth here. Looks like an old door. Can you see that? I wonder whose door this once was.
wonder if there's a number on it. Yeah, so that's the uh, the old bridge. We'll just have a look at the archway underneath before we go back up to the main path. It's got sandbags on it. I'm guessing that's to stop the bridge from deteriorating any further. There you go. Babylon Brook. Emma, go inside. No, don't. Just, don't be silly. Don't be silly. I've not brought my armbands today. Right, so we're working our way up to the main path again. Getting a jog on. A lost world of Jurassic Park door, <laughs> maybe. There's a little furry's house door, a furry door, even. Frank says, watch out for the green hand. What's the green hand? He's given us clues. I'm not giving you any clues whatsoever. Uh, that stream is beautiful. Love the sound of water, Val says. So a lot of you will remember this, this is the, uh, I used to call it the, the lodge, it was the uh, reservoirs to May Mill, um, try and kind of outline it for you. So that's Smithy Brook down there, and that wall was the outline. It was a big straight line all the way down there, which was the man-made embankment to the reservoirs, not to the lodge, the Smithy Brook. And it does a almost a right angle turn to go down in that direction. And all that where the trees are now. I can't believe them trees must only be what 20 years old. They're huge. Maybe, maybe 25. But yeah, that was a deep reservoir. And there was two that was, uh, they were adjacent to each other. Um, and the, the original, originally there was a bigger one further down. Uh, the smaller one was on this side and the bigger one was on further down that way. And this, uh, this thing, it's been overflowed a couple of times and you can actually see when, when it's really heavy rain you can see water bursting out of these seams uh, and out the top through the water pressure all the runoff water from the streets uh, comes down to this unit and several others along the way and empties down into, uh, into Smithy Brook um, so there you go you used to be able to get in it. I've been in here a few times, believe it or not. We'll just uh, try and get down and have a look at the little entrance point that there used to be. So along this side here, they, they bricked it up now, but there used to be uh, a little entrance on that side. You used to scramble through to get in. And you used to jump across there to get from one side to the other. And it looks like they used to dam, dam that up because uh, there's, there's like a little cut out of the uh, concrete pillar there. Ooh. 
I wonder what's down that hole. Because that is quite deep. You can't see it on camera, but it's deep as. So it must be a waterfall or something living down there. So that's where the reservoirs were. And there used to be, well it's still there, a steep embankment on the opposite side of the water up to the top onto the grounds of the mill eventually. Hiya. Is that cockapoo? It's cockapoo. Mother in law's got one of those. Hiya. Okay. Come on, Elaine, that's not a rat. Rats don't live in, in holes in the ground, they live in the sewer. And I think uh, I think rats are a little bit bigger than that all was. It was only the size of maybe ten p coin, something like that. So we're back at uh, the nicer part of Smithy Brook now, flowing gently. Now you'll have another option to either go through. The woods again or go left. If nobody says go left we'll carry on and go straight into the woods, continue down. Okay there's a secret left that not many people go down but we did do it the other week. Emma Davis says left. Okay. Emma Davis says left, 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 left. Into the scary bit. Elaine, you weren't fast enough. Juliet, you weren't fast enough, sorry. Emma's cows and all kinds of problems now. Oh. I should learn not to listen. <laughs> well done, Emma. You've brought her to somebody's back garden. I'm not going to go through that gate. <laughs> Frank says you're slacking a lane. Now we're going to go back through and continue through the woods. I'm going to go with the uh, majority vote on this one. Sorry, Emma. He took us to somebody's back garden. Tut, tut, tut. <laughs> you wanted an adventure. Yeah. You never know who's in some, what's in somebody's back garden. Might be sunbathing with the, with the bellies out or something, or worse. Ba -da -ba -ba. Now, there used to be a pond down there, and it does get uh, waterlogged. It's more of a, a bog now, but. Used to be uh, full of old tyres and the odd traffic cone, but at least it's clean now. You're right, there is a path up to Costessi Way and Reapham, but 
I'll, uh, I'll be honest, I did that earlier on today on the way back from the cricket club, so I didn't want to look like I'm uh, casing the joint. So straight through, as planned. Bit of information for you. We had um, a pigeon nesting in our garden, and we've been watching this chick in the nest for the past like three weeks or so. And the cat keeps on trying to get the get the chick. It must have hatched a couple of days ago. Anyway, um, unfortunately, the magpies got him yesterday. Gutted. Ooh. I'll let you go past you, all right. Do you want to go left? Go oh, straight on. Left or straight on, people? Choice is yours. I'm gonna assume you're gonna tell me to go straight on because nobody's commenting. I think you're all bored now. Ooh. Straight on, Juliet says. Thank you. Now, when we come out of here, we'll end up at uh, the back of Goose Green Cricket Club. You do have a left and a right option again. So throw in your uh, option now, left or right, when we get to the club. Right will take us to Pony Dick, left will take us to uh, Costessi Way. Left, thank you. Juliet. Sorry Frank, you were too late to the party on that one. Juliet beat you. You have to be quick. So I walked, um, walked past here earlier on today, it looks like they've been mowing the grass. Um, and they're putting some information about uh, being able to train. I say they, the government, put some information out about groups of uh, sports teams being able to train together soon it's not happening just yet but it's nice to see the cricket ground getting uh, getting tidied up and get you in there got some scarecrows in the middle so up these steps is Costessi Way it'll bring us out onto uh, Melrose Drive. I think James is going to give us a wave if he's still watching because he lives on Melrose. So a little tip for Emma, where those trees are at the bottom, um, where we went, nearly went into that back garden, that's the opposite side of the trees. So if we would have gone right there, that's where we would, you would have come out. And you can get onto Costessi or reap them from there. There's a little path around the back. We have been down it a couple of times, I think. James says he'll wave if he'll come past mine. Well, that's only if people tell me to go left, pal. You can come out and have a quick chat to everybody. 
left or right at the top onto Melrose. What do you want? Left or right people get your vote in quickly. James is gonna come running out of his underpants in a minute. There he is. I've just said you might be outside in your underpants, James. <laughs> How are we doing? So everyone, this is James, the famous, infamous historian of Winstanley. Everybody's saying hello to you now. How you doing, man? You've been training today? You've been training? Yeah, training. You've got a little gym going on, yeah. Yeah, a little bit of a session. You enjoying this way? I'm wearing the wrong clothes today, aren't I? No, it's nice for the It's early. boiling, mate, it's boiling. I'm red hot. Um yeah, you you were you were struggling with the delay, I guess, weren't you? Yeah, it's delayed. How many seconds? Am I still walking I'd through say, Pony Dick? I'd say it's probably half a minute, man. Is it really? Yeah. Oh well, internet's I suppose, isn't it? <laughs> right, I'll crack on. Thanks very much, James, for all your input. No problem. See you soon, pal. See Take it easy, mate. James on with a famous historian of becoming famous. In fact, there's um, there's badges on this page that uh, that you guys can earn, and I think James is a rising star badge level at the moment. Hi, Chris. You have just walked past mine and Andy. Ellis's house. All right, okay. Well, hello, Anne. You should have shouted out of your window and give us a wave next time, maybe. Um, okay, we've got a left-hand turn down Ravens Road, down Ravenswood, straight on, down Melrose, or we can go right through. I think it's Gainsborough Close, but I could be wrong. Yeah, the thing is now, Emma, everyone knows where he lives, so they can all, we can all play knock and run on his door. Only oh, joke. Don't do that, kids. <laughs> Juliet's lost. Okay, so um, we are now walking down Melrose Drive. We've just gone past Ravenswood Avenue, the first entrance. Again, my neck of the woods. I was right, Gainsborough Close. Do you want to go right? Straight on. It's a nice little path down there. Cutting through the houses. Or straight on down Melrose. Little, uh... Right, you can see um, Barton's Woods up there, near the poacher. Emma Davis says, right. It's like a maze, yeah, but it's a maze that uh, that's worth a little track. It's nice and nice and quiet. So we've got Waverley Court on the left and Gainsborough Close on the right on these paths, two separate streets if you like. I'm going to have to take my coat off in a minute. Yes, I'm wearing a coat. It was freezing when I left the house. It's blue skies now and sunny. Good afternoon, Margaret.
Can we have a time check then, Frank? Let us know how many minutes we're on. Emma's usually our time checker. Just so you know, I can't see how long we've been streaming. One hour and one minute. Cheers, Adam. Right, well, we're going to end it at the poacher, which isn't open. But if they did take away pints, I'd have one. Okay, it's beautiful now. Look at that sun. Lovely afternoon walk. I'm guided by you guys. So Adam, who's just tuned in by the looks of it, getting to the end of our walk. Uh, we started off on Gate and Close, which is off Ravenswood Avenue, down to Durham Way. Uh, went into the woods by the little path. We turned right. No, we didn't. We turned left. Um, ended up at the steps. Went down the steps, across the bridge, across Smithy Brook. Turned right back into the woods, followed Smithy Brook all the way down to the bottom bridge. Crossed over the bottom bridge and back up the hill towards the water treatment area. And then from there, uh, we went back into the woods, or went, went round the water, back into the woods, wiggled our way through from uh, the back of Goose Green Cricket Club. And we're now outside Barton's Wood and the poacher. So I don't know how far I've been, uh, but I know I've been an hour, so I'm going to clock off for now. Um, things to do, people to see, nowhere to go. Um, well, this is the first one that you guys have uh, kind of directed, and it's safe to say you've taken me nowhere, more or less, where I started. I'm all joking. It was a good walk. We uh, we had no plan. We didn't decide on anything to start with, other than starting in the woods. Um, and just goes to show you can make up a little walk. Um, on your own or if you're walking with somebody and you can still get around about four kilometers in I think we might have done in an hour um, albeit a bit zigzaggy but that's uh, that's the power of you guys telling me where to go I suppose so until tomorrow where we're doing Max's map check that out on Facebook tomorrow I will put today's map up as soon as I get back which will be in 60 seconds um, and then uh, upload it onto YouTube as well. So guys, until tomorrow, we will see you later. Bye for now.